Let's imagine that you have an STL file and you would like to add some logo type to this STL file but don't know how. In this video I'll show you three easy ways to do it with help of Blender 3D. So let's jump right into the Blender 3D. Select everything by pressing A and delete it by pressing X. Now let's import our STL file with import command. And sometimes in Blender the dimensions are wrong, so don't be afraid of it and just press S divided by 100 and press Enter. After that, press period K on your numpad to zoom to your model. The main thing that we need to think about it uh, where we can place the logs, where is the perfect way to place our logs. So my advice to you will be to find the flattest spot you can because it will be much easier to place logotype on flat spot rather than round spot like this for example head. Here on this model we have this place for the numbers of the trophy place 1, 2, 3 and 4 maybe 5. Also on the back side on the back of our model, we have a perfect flat spot to place a logotype or some text here. And one quick note, we also can add logos to the bottom part of our model here. So it will be printed within first layer. Let's start with the more easiest one and add some numbers here to give this guy a winner winner mode press 1 on numpad shift a and add a text right now text rotated incorrectly so press number 1 again on your numpad rx minus 90 sorry rx 90 press enter tab and just put the number 1 first Place. To better see the numbers or letters, let's switch to the wireframe mode. Also, we can move this number here for now. Let's switch back to the original mode. So, we need to scale this text down like this. Here, you can change the font under the A tab. Choose the font, go to the folder. I like this one. Great. Now we can to we need to convert our mesh, our text to mesh. Press tab, select everything by pressing A, numpad seven, and press E and Y, and extrude it a little bit so we can add some depth to our number. Let's go out of edit mode. Press object. Set origin, origin, geometry to origin, and Alt J. So here is our number, and we need to locate it in the right place. Press number three on our numpad. G Y move, G Z move it up, and now we need to align this metal and this number. So air and rotate it slightly by eye and now we need to move it into our model for this let's switch to the wireframe mode alt z to better see what's happening with alt z you can see the backwards edge and g y move it like this a little bit align it more correctly maybe j z and J Y. So the point is, oh, we need to also correct it by X, maybe scale it down. So navigate with G Y X and Z your number to make a perfect fit. The point is here, the distance, the number should be extruded out of our model should be no more than the layer 
wide. So for example, if your nozzle point 8 millimeters, so this edge should be also no more than 0.8 millimeters. You can check this in slicer later twice and move the numbers here and there. So that was for numbers. Now let's add some logotype on the back of our model. Go on the back view by pressing Ctrl 1. Let's find some cool logotypes for our guy. Winner logo PNG. Mm, I think this star looks good for us. Let's make a screenshot of it and save it to the desktop. Okay, let's go back to Blender. Please shift A, image, reference, and open up our star. Scale it down, press Alt Z to better see the, what is happening right here and locate it somewhere right there. So now we need to trace the star and it's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is spend some time on tracing it. Add some plane by shift A and plane, rotate it 90 degrees. Press tab, all vertices selected already, press M and collapse them all vertices into the one. And press J to remove this vertice here. Now you need to follow the path of the logotype by pressing A and put the vertices in the place where I need it. E, here, E. Here, here, so I will roughly follow the path of our logotype for now. And you can do this exact operation with any logotype. The more complex the logotype, the more vertices you will need. And there is the only difference, I guess. So I'll press the last vertices here, then select the first one and press F. So we made a bound for our logotype and we need to fill it with the faces. So easiest way to do it, select all the vertices, press Alt F and it will be faced automatically. The other way to do it is you can face manually by select minimum three points of vertices, pressing F. Then you can select like 4, F, and create these polygons here and there. So, like this. Okay, let's now hide our image. We left with our star here, and let's move it out of our body. Press 3 on the numpad, and let's again align this with the back face, GY, move it forward, Y again. So sometimes uh, the vertices may look, or faces may look a little bit different or weird. So double check everything by pressing A, M and merge by distance in case we have double vertices. So control one, Move it a little bit up, scale it a little bit down, move it a little bit up. Now we need to do the same operation like with letter and extrude the stuff a little bit like this. Okay, and now it looks like we have a lot of distance right here. So let's move the whole logotype. And the point is again to make it extrude just a little bit. Okay. This will be our star, and yeah, see here, we have some problems. Let's quickly fix it. Let's go to the solo mode here. And I guess we need to delete these faces. Then go to the vertices mode. You can switch between vertices and faces right here, operation one, four, two, and three on the upper numpad. And 
do it like this. Select the vertices, press F to make the face and successfully fix it. That was a quick fix. So yeah, there's the number, there's the logotype and the last and interesting thing I want to add the logotype here on the bottom to uh, here is the effect I'm trying to achieve here. So what should we add here? Hmm. The simpler the logo will be on the bottom, the easiest it will be for printer to print, obviously. So let's go to the upper view, shift A, text, and let's take something simple like, I don't know. Hmm. Win. Okay, win is super simple stuff to print. Let's also change the, the font. Okay, let's center it out by geometry to region, scale it down a little bit, move to the wireframe mode, Alt Z, and here you can see that we successfully that we successfully place this logotype now we need to move it down here go out to the normal mode right click on the text and convert it to mesh press tab to enter the edit mode press a to select everything easy gz down like this okay now we need to move it up this text just a little bit you need to remember to achieve this technique with the bottom logotype the inner part here should be not the, not higher than the layers that you lay on the first first few layers like three or four by default in any slicer so if you have three layers by 0.32 millimeters so it's better to have something like this Okay, anyways, we try, we try it right now and see how it turned out in Hoover Slicer. Now we need to select our model, go to the modifier tab, add a boolean modifier and select our text. Important step here and important step for joining cold geometry together is to be sure that face orientation are correct on every step. So this is the right example of incorrect face orientation. You see here blue and blue it's good, red and blue is bad, and also red and blue here is also bad. How we can fix it? Select the text, press to the press tab to go to the edit mode, select everything and press shift N. It will switch the faces backwards. Same thing with this one. Tab A Shift N switch. Nice. So now we can try to hide our text and yeah, we can see here we have some cut and I guess we should to rotate this text obviously because it will be mirrored. Let's do it by tap all air y 100 like this hide it again and now we have a correct stuff here and all we have to do is to join the numbers and the logotypes to the main body for this select the number one select the star and select the body last press ctrl j all the stuff will be merged together now go to the file Export STL selection only apply the all modifiers go to the our folder where I want to save it and let's type it one one V. Okay. Export the selection. Wait a little bit for Blender to export this. And great, now we can switch to the Kura and delete the old guy and add the new one yeah like this 
So because we scaled the model in Blender, Fura automatically scaled back to the original size. But if this not happened, you always can scale it by manual scaling here. Let's try to slice it. So my goal was here to print this guy in base mode, so it will be quick and easy print. And as you can see here, we have zero problem with the number one. Uh, we have zero problem with the star. And let's check if we have a wind here. And seems like we got here. Yeah. So let's move this, okay, this stuff down. So yeah. First layer will be with the wind extracted, second layer will be the, with bridges, and that's how you got the logotype on the bottom side. In case if, we, if you can't find any good spot on the model, so always check the bottom side. Hope you enjoy this quick tutorial about how to add the text. Let me know in the comment if this was useful for you. And see you later. Peace.